According to the innovation from Indonesia, a phone call had been made between Russia and the President of Indonesia, Joko Widodo. The problems of the upcoming G20 summit on 15-16 November in Bali were being discussed. From the side of Russia, the Kremlin highly appreciates and respects the constructive and non-politic words by the President of G20 Indonesia about topical questions such as the development of energies and food security, the performance of balanced energy transformation, and the global digital movement for international economy and the improvement of healthcare systems. The personal consistent position of Joko Widodo about promoting a united agenda in G20 was being recognized. Among the concept of global food security guarantee, the President of Indonesia had pointed out the basic approach of Russia in the performance of the agreement with Istanbul, which were connected to the serial exportation of Ukraine from the Black Sea and the bans of Russia exportation in agriculture products and fertilizer into the global market. He announced about the status of development by keep mode to use the humanized lobby of the Black Sea to destroy infrastructures and vessels of the Black Sea fleet of Sevastopol, and then received the necessary guarantee from the side of Ukraine that the humanized lie wouldn't be used for the military gains. Russia remains their performance toward the previous serial agreement legally. The behavior and readiness of Russia in their remarkable and free supply of serial resources for the poorest countries under the form of humanized supply and international incorrectment was being supported by Joko Widodo in the agreement achieved during the visit of the President of Indonesia to Russia in June 2022. Some topical questions to develop a bilateral collaboration successfully were being mentioned. The dedication of Indonesia and Russia to grow and strengthen the relationship from both sides, to plan and receive the good resource in multiple fields were being affirmed.